Okay, guys, you're finally playing as a team, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, this anime is very special. I want to keep watching it between football anime, soccer anime. I've sucked for many years, right? And this anime is like, oh, we can maybe we can uh, pass the ball to each other. Hey, guys, what if you pass the ball, right? That's another episode. So, three, two, one, and go. Soccer anime episode five? Or five, six, five? The history guys, the password guys. Six, six, five, five, five. Episode five, I can do it. Um... Yeah, this guy's the guy that passes. My god, you pass the ball, man? He's like, that's right. I'm controlling the game. He's the eagle like guy. He's like the guy from Crooked the Basket that was controlling that. Exactly, the guy with eye powers. <laughs> oh, the opening? It's supposed to be open there when it cut away. Okay. Yeah, so they're playing the volleyball, right? They're changing the formation by uh, for 10 minutes. It's so stupid. It's incredibly stupid, but I like it. <laughs> it's stupid, so I like it. No, but come on, it's a good way to set it. Get some stuff here, man. Good one. Man, wait to watch that again. Yeah, I will take every single pass. See, this guy is like, I will rock your pass, man. And then I wasn't impressed that they were actually uh, yeah, playing the football game. Okay. Yes, you know. Do it. Yeah, it's funny that the main character is like the only person who's trying to play the actual sport. <laughs> Maybe I should keep stopping this guy instead of trying to, uh, uh, you know, score myself or something. Yeah, wouldn't it be more focused on like trying to win the actual game, right? Gaga Mario Hindu Shito, he's awesome. Yeah, like, but this is so weird. There are. I can't beat him in shooting. Yeah, exactly. You're 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 a supporting guy. You're a passive guy. It's so weird that he's like my weapon to survive is being a team player. Uh, no, it's mean like it's, it's just a, the anime is hilarious, entertaining, but it's mean like the setting is so weird. This guy, especially him, I can't shoot the ball very good, but I'm a good passer, so I'm not gonna get kicked out of blue lock by being a good teammate. Yeah, you're like yeah, that's kind of soccer. You know what I mean? It's just so weird. It's just like these guys had never played football before. So it's, 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 it's the first day they're playing football, right? That's how it feels. It's like, wait a minute, you're, you're a mid guy that passes the ball? You're a goalkeeper over there? Is that a positioning in football? That's why I feel the anime is hilarious, but it's, it's very weird. Because, I mean, I've seen like every sport anime ever, right? And this, is, this doesn't feel like a sport anime sense, because I think that almost every other sport anime, the guys at least know what they're playing for a sport. Yeah, they're like, I'm playing basketball, right? And I'm supposed to pass the ball and get it into the hoop. Yeah, it's like... These guys didn't have played before. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we got a switchy. Y'all attack. Okay, steady strategy. One time kill counter. <laughs> I like it is he has to play to the opponent. We're doing the one time kill counter. It's like just, yeah. Everyone is running to an attack. Yeah, it's like we call it the super attack. You got this amazing strategy in football. But everyone, yeah, everyone runs into the attack place. My God, Sam is so ever so desperate, man. Yeah, stop him. Is he actually score? We do have the the back guy, right? He wants to play in defense, so. He's supposed to a good. He's he's probably stop it. Is is he's supposed to be like a actually a good defender? He's not done anything yet, but oh, he's passes that way. Yeah, to him, yeah, he's a passer guy for all. I don't know, he actually passed the ball out to Okava, but come on, is it the red top finally got something? I think so. Everyone is panicking except him, right? He's the only one not panicking. Yeah, he's finally the right. The ultimate defense, right? Yeah, come on. Yeah, like it's obviously it's not him, right? But, no. The main character do it? I thought it's gonna be Red Top. Yeah, the main character does it. I, I thought it was gonna be Red Top, you know. Right? Because Red Top doesn't do anything. He, he wanted to play defense, yet he doesn't do shit in defense. He's always been pretty bad for the team because he was like, I wanna be in the I wanna be in the front, yeah. Yet he never defends anything so far. He's, he's, he has so far a 0%. Uh... Yeah, you're a passive guy. Yeah, he can't be a striker, so he's, he's pathetic. Yeah, he's a bad player. He has to... Oh, 
Oh yeah, so now he's like, ego. <laughs> he's like, I will never do it again. Next time I want pass. Fanny's <laughs> has been back and forth. Last episode was like, finally, I, I knew learn learned to pass. And now he's like, I will never pass again. What? <laughs> like, he went completely back to what is that last episode. Now he's like, I will never support my team again. <laughs> the the flashback is like, last time I passed, that was terrible because my team sucked or something. Well, I guess he could argue that he's a better teammate now, though, so he can't pass the ball, I suppose, but... Yeah, he's gonna dribble, though. Well, this guy is creepy. free. <laughs> he missed it. That's probably a point. Yeah, I wasn't aiming to him anyway. He wanted to fool them. So the main character can do it, right? Yeah, it was obvious that the main character can do one score, right? Because he's the main character. Yeah, egoist. Yeah, he's full on egoist. <laughs> egoist. <laughs> this is some weird thing. He completely like the values last episode when he was like, I will I will pass from now on. I'll be a team player. This episode's like, I'm an egoist. I will never give up the score again. You're like, but, but so you didn't learn your lesson at all last episode? So he, he didn't learn to play with the team? He, he, he learned to like hate his team or something? What? Yeah, it, it was very weird. I'm an egoist. It's a cool scene though. Yeah, a beautiful scene where he... Oh, he's gonna like shake his hand or something. He's like an honorable soccer player. He's gonna go over here and be like, that was some great football. Yeah, I crossed their dreams. Oh, he's gonna like walk in, in, their, in their bodies. He's just like, he's walking in their, in their, in their, in their dust. Just enjoying it, like your life is forfeit. Like, what is this scene? I don't know if, he, if he's gonna apologize to him, be like, shake his hand, and be like, you did a good job, or if he's gonna be like, you, you're pathetic. In this anime, I think you go out of the way. They're all psychopaths, yeah. Yeah, he's like, you loser. Tell him he's a loser. Tell him he's like, that's right, you're. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a Kimochi! See? Kimochi! Is this opening now? Oh my god, yeah, he's like, loser, I enjoyed crushing your dreams, yeah, it's like, oh my god, he's making them all into psychopaths, see, they were all the psychopaths, yeah, and he's like, <laughs> your dream is forfeit, yeah, I'm crushing everyone's dream, man, oh my god, this anime, it truly is football for psychopaths, yeah, I said every episode, but this is, He's going over to the guy that he, that he beat him in football and he's like, That's right, your life is over! It's like, what? Yeah, um, but I mean, honestly, the main character isn't very likable in that sense, all right? It depends on what you like as a sports, right? But usually, you know, in a sport anime, sport anime, right? The main character is likable, you know, because he's the innocent good guy that wants to save the world or whatever, right? Usually the good guy, usually the good guy. This main character is like, yeah, I crushed your spirit, and it was great. <laughs> like, he's, um, I don't know. But the thing is that, Stephen, I love One Outs, right? One of my also famous sport anime. It's like my favorite sport anime, One Outs. Amazing anime, uh, baseball sport anime, uh, which honestly is much better than this anime. This anime is good, but it's no One Outs. One Outs is a freaking masterpiece, okay? But but anyway, in One Outs, right, Tokichi, he's basically like a complete douchebag all the time, right? But that, but but in that sense, he, yes, he's a very very douchebag main character. He's a terrible person, he, he, and he's an absolute psychopath, incredibly psychotic main character. However, he's immediately like that, right? And you know, for episode one, that he's an ultimate douchebag, right? And so so he's likable in 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 a douchebag, you know, he's like a charmant, you know, charismatic psychopath, a douchebag. You kind of like, yeah, you kind of like him, you know. What I mean? He, the main character, is kind of evolving into becoming a sociopathic, psychopathic character. And it's, it's kind of entertaining, but I mean, is it likable? Leave a comment below, guys. Yeah, but I mean, are they likable? They're all turning into villains, right? Is, is that like, you know, you know what I mean? But basically, in one out, you're following an anti-hero immediately. He's like incredibly, almost an anti-villain, right? You're like, okay, but it, it kind of works. Yeah, and this anime, they're all turning into anti-heroes. I don't know, you know, it's... Uh, I mean, throwing it out there, right? Uh, but I mean, sure, it's enjoyable. He walking over back, you lost, loser. I mean, it's enjoyable, yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying. Um, but I guess everyone that they're facing are also evil, so. <laughs> it feels like every player in this whole sport anime are evil, right? There's no good teams. Everyone is just pure evil, so it's like, yeah, okay, I guess that makes it better, I guess. 
but he wanted to shoot himself, right? It just feels like it's incredibly like, anti, as I mentioned last episode, right? Where he learned to be a pastor, yeah, where he learned to be a, you know, a supportive team player. And now it's that immediately, it's like, I will never pass the ball again, basically. It's like, it's my goal. I'm the striker. I'm the best person here. No one will ever get the point I can. Yeah, this episode is like completely the opposite to this episode. Uh, I don't care about my team. Of course, he did, he, of course he did actually care about the team, though. He did play the team. Um, but I don't know, yeah, now they're all you know, talking in the locker room as well. Not too much happening here, right? So he's discussing the, the, the game. Um, but this guy, man, he's so useless. Yeah, holy shit, man. I was, I was disappointed that he didn't have to. I was disappointed, right? I mean, genuinely, that disappointed me. Because he wanted, again, again, he wanted to be a defensive player. He wanted to be a back, right? I don't know what to call it. I just call it Buck in Sweden, yeah. I played football for many in Sweden, right? But you call it Buck, right? So he wanted to be a Buck. Yeah, a Buck spieler. And, and he didn't do shit, right? He never defended anything. He never stopped at any goal. So when I when I saw them, of course, doing that super counter-attack, I expected him to, of course, be the one to in intercept the counter-attack because he's supposed to be the, you know, the defensive Buck, right? The volunteered for that position, right? So you would imagine he would be a good back, but no, he's just terrible? Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like voluntary to be the linebacker in, uh, in uh, you know, American football. They're not doing shit then. But I guess it'll be about him now. Yeah, but I don't know. Like I said, now he's sitting there watching it, but he didn't do anything. Maybe he feels that he was completely useless then. So next episode, ne next sport, I mean, next game, I mean. Okay, he's got the gold though. If he's very, honestly, I think it's kind of a bit strange because, again, wouldn't he be more interested in looking at the defensive plays if he's a defensive player? He, because again, he it wasn't like he failed scoring, right? He failed defending, right? Uh, if, if I was him, I wouldn't be studying the amazing score they did. I would be more studying the, the lack of defense, right? And how we fail defending if I'm playing a defensive role. If I'm the goalkeeper, I'm mostly going to focus on you know, the goalkeeper part of the game, right? To some aspect, right? Yeah, obviously he's a special guy, of course. He's like any other sport enemy guy with the... But he's doing it on memory, prediction. He's doing it on, you know, sound effects, prediction, hearing. He's doing it on everything else, you know. He's doing it on predicting the... Yeah, he got the 3D60 eagle line, man. Exactly. This is basically me, so I would be the main character in this anime. No, but seriously, right? I used to, I always played the scepter, or whatever, right there. I always played the, the, the supporting middle guy, right, in sport animes. <laughs> in my own sport, I know. But like, for example, when I played volleyball, right, for years, right, for example, and basketball for that matter too. But volleyball, for example, I played the scepter, right, because I'm the guy that is like, okay, I know where everyone is. Uh, as a scepter, you have to be like, okay, who, who is the weakness? Where, where is my ace, right? Who, who could I pass? Could I use the dump behind me, right? It's all about, you know, having that awareness right there. Having the field awareness. So I basically always play this, uh, yeah, the awareness positioning. But, yeah, but I guess so, right? I play a lot of video games. <laughs> but I don't know, but I, I definitely have uh, extremely high special when I think about it. But it's always been that too when I drive with someone too. Yeah, like as a kid, you know, my mom is a pretty bad driver. Uh, she will get lost sometimes when I'm in the city, right? Especially Gothenburg, which is a terrible to drive it in my mother's defense though. But when I was a kid then, my mom was driving, I'll be like, oh mom, take left now. But sure, yeah, take left now, and then left again, and, go up, and then left, left, right, uh, forward. You know, I, I'm the guy that kind of memorized all the streets, and it's like, okay, but you go there and there, that's fast, fast, yeah. Um, so I, I can definitely relate to the, yeah, the awareness player, certainly. Like, absolute New York. Uh, abs but this guy is terrible, he's, he's injured. Okay, so he just can't play them? That's why he's in the back? Okay, that makes, it makes more sense though. That's why he wants to play in the... Yeah, he's like, I will take in the back position so I can stand there. I guess he can't actually play them? That's why he's doing it? Okay, he used to be a striker. Okay, he's just, he's just, so he's just useless then. Okay, yeah. So he's just useless then. Like seriously, yeah. He, he's not a good defensive player. Well, it's good. It's basically, but as I keep saying, right, I don't understand what he was doing. His action made no sense in the game, right? This is basically, he actually can't play. He's basically straight up just useless in their team. Oh yeah, so he's just like, managed to carry on because they weigh on one, but... Yeah, but he seems to be completely pointless then. So he's basically a liability then. But, 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 you know, yeah, this makes sense though, right, as I said. 
He was pointless during the game. He did nothing during the game. No, but I'm, 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 I'll call it, man. I'll call it. I'll call it. But I mean, I was right. I kept saying he was completely pointless during the actual game, right? And his action after the game didn't make much sense either. So yeah, I mean, sure. I, I buy it, you know. He basically, he basically is a handicapped player on the field. He can't do anything. Yeah, he, he, he can't. Yeah, he can't shoot, right? But is he gonna like heal during this thing then, or they gonna kick him out, whatever? Okay. And those are weird fan service in some pansu. <laughs> Suddenly, there's some fan service. Okay. Yeah, she's basically the only female character in the anime, right? Of course, he only eats noodles. Yeah, of course, he does. He's like this effective. He's like, you know. <laughs> he's like. But I like that she just hits the cleaning lady. She, she's a crazy woman, you know, that likes him. We saw it in the video. But. Yeah, but now she's basically his uh, his wife. Who she comes here and cleans for him, and he lives in this shitty like he's this like crazy nerd guy. That, you know that yeah, it's a coach and a football player. Right? Yeah, he actually is a super healthy son of He just lives on noodles. <laughs> he's, he just eats speed noodles. Yeah, instant noodles because it's speedy, right? Because it's efficient and doesn't need anything else. And she just like have to come and clean his trash or so on. Oh my God, the weird character, man. He's like a, yeah, he's like a typical, you know, nerdy gamer sitting on Reddit being like, Oh, if I played football, I would do this thing, yeah. If I was the player on the field, I would I would have dodged that thing. I would like, you know, I would have passed in that situation. Yeah, he's basically like the backseat uh, <laughs> player 100%, man. Yeah, special awareness, of course, his ability. Like I said, right, just like me, man. I would have been the main character in this anime. Uh, no, but absolutely. So now he's a goalkeeper, but... But is Shigeru then useless right there? Can he do anything? Maybe he's a good goalkeeper. You know, he, can't, he can't run, I guess. It seems that he can't like run or something, right? He can walk, but he just stands at the back, so... But seriously, should he just kick him off the team? Like, what is his pointless for the team then? Because he's a bit easy for them. Well, this guy's so like geek, man. He's even... No, that was a bit of bad joke. Honestly. That was funny. No, that that that, that, that was kind of weird. If one cat did it, uh, the the draw thing, I think it would be funny. But like half the team drawing for his noodles looks pretty bad. Yeah, I don't know. They look pretty cheap noodles. I don't know. That that thing was funny, man. I felt they overplayed the joke. But actually, it's a good example of overplaying a joke, right? If one cat would do it, it would be kind of funny. But yeah, all of them doing it or half of them doing it, nah, it's too many, man. It just looks silly instead. It went from like funny to just kind of cringe, yeah, in my opinion. Didn't make me laugh. I see number one there, because he did the best goal. Yeah, he did the best goal, right? So. But I mean, no one should be surprised, right? Yeah, I, mean, I, don't, want, I don't know why he's surprised for. Yeah, of course he is. He, 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 he scored the final goal, right? What, 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 what did they expect? Like, what did they expect there? Yeah. He also of course blocked their attack, so not only did he do the best goal, he also did the best defense, so he did both of the most important parts. <laughs> yeah. He stopped their goal and it, you know. Okay, it's not messy, it makes me out. Okay, graceful speed dribbling. <laughs> it's interesting how they explain the character. I mean, the real people, I mean, yeah, they're like, oh, you know, Messi, he's like a, he's like a graceful dribbler. That's his skill. <laughs> yeah. I never, I never heard that uh, comparison before. Oh, yeah, he's he's famous for his uh, graceful dribbling. Yeah, that that's what he's there for. I mean, I mean, I, I guess, I guess maybe someone said it before, you know. Um. Well, yeah, I mean, he's if he's a winner's guy, he's there will be a team a team player with his weapons, right? But if he's a if he's an awareness guy, his weapon would be a team player. You know, he would be good at passing the ball and yeah, finding you know who who's on the team has a great chance of shooting someone. But I think ego is right in this sense, though. Absolutely, if you play football right and all, all the sport games, uh, team sport games, usually you have your skill. Like I talk about, I am like the main character, right? And I'm an awareness guy, right? You know, a spatial guy, right? So yeah, then you find your basically uh, the support positioning is, is your partner, right? I never really been, yeah, I never been the striker, right? I can I can kick the ball, but I never been the striker, right? I mean I'm the guy that's placed in the middle, right? Or in the back and I you know defend the team and I pass the ball to the correct person, right? Yeah. I've never been the guy that usually does the most goals, right? Um 
Uh, and the same thing like when I play football, football, uh, not soccer, football. Uh, you know, I'm a pretty good quarterback and I'm a pretty good linebacker. Yeah, linebacker, you know, can be defense. Quarterback because I, I know how to, you know, aim at the right person or do the right play right there. And actually, I am pretty good at throwing the ball, yeah. I was fed I have a pretty good golden armor in football. Yeah, I'm pretty good, like, throwing the actual ball. I've always been pretty good at, actually, good accuracy as well with my, uh, with my passes in uh, football. Is he team captain now? Yeah. <laughs> Of course he is, he's jealous, he's not the, yeah, he's not the right by the football, he's the actual ball at the rest of him. Uh, he's trying to be the, he's, he's, but he's, he's team mom, he's just like, I will cook food for you guys, so yeah, he's team mom, come on. So are all the old friends now? If he's really weird, honestly, in the backstory, that no one, he wasn't on the radar in the backstory, wasn't he clearly the best player in his team? And he wasn't on the radar. He was like an egoistic player, right? But wasn't he the best player in the team? Yeah, he's a little weird. The best doesn't make more sense. Wasn't he by far the best player in his like noob team? Why wouldn't he be the number one? I mean, honestly, that doesn't make any sense. But yeah, he's reborn in this was title. And I guess Ego's plan is to provoke them to hate each other. <laughs> this team was great. Again, this team was great. <laughs> you lost. Yeah, this comes that stares at him. Pathetic. <laughs> yeah, it's like, but the main guy is like, you losers. Yeah. I just told them that they, they suck at life. Yeah, okay. He's, he went over there and was like, stop playing football, you terrible. Um, but let's go back to that, uh, the goal, baby. The g -g -g goal. That was it. Not the gold, maybe, but when you're talking about the... Oh, sorry, it froze, the actual... For some reason. But the goal looked great, though. It's obvious that he was gonna miss, though, with the, with the head thing. Yeah, it was obvious that he was aiming at the next person behind him. It was clearly a, f a feint. That was super obvious. Um... Man, so many rash effects, it's sport element. It's like 20 people's faces before you shoot the ball, man. I'm the striker. Yeah, it looks great though, it looks really great. I mean, uh, there's really good quality. Yeah, this scene looked fantastic. Obviously, it's gonna be a thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, it's obviously gonna be a thumbnail. No, it, it, it does look really good, it really does. It does look really good. So let's uh, review it. Uh, I should send, I zoom it out, it looks better. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, that's better, right? Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think the episode is interesting, right? For many aspects. I think the anime, the anime, I say, think it's kind of funny though, right? Because it really to me feels like we went absolutely reverse of last week, right? Yeah. So last week was like, oh, we, we, we're gonna play a sport game, we're gonna team, you know, we're, you know, we're, 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 we're friends, right? We're gonna team up. And now it's like, I will never press the ball again. It's all mine. <laughs> and now he goes egoistic. And it's like, I will never support my team. They're all losers. And, and then there was over to the other time, guys. And it's like, you suck. Stop playing football. You know, yeah, you, you're out of the game. You will never amount to anything in your life, right? Uh, and so on. Like enjoying, crushing their, 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 their life or whatever. Yeah, it's uh, very weird in that take, right? Um, but as I keep hearing in, in my reaction part, right? Uh, you know, I, I do think that the main character has been... It, it makes sense, though, right? How the main character plays, though, right? Uh, yeah, speaking, because he clearly is presented as, as I keep saying, the supportive, you know, middle lane, usually right in the football, potentially the forward right, but usually in the middle, maybe in the back, and, uh, you know, like the guy that passes the ball, it's pretty good reading. Basically, you're good reading the game, right? You kind of know where, where the opponents are going to pass, you kind of look at this weakness, right? You kind of predict how they're going to shoot the ball or how they're going to... Who they mostly will pass to, whatever, right? So, uh, and he's clearly good at that, right? So, him being that awareness guy, I talked about in the, in the next letter, you say, and Shigeru tells him that oh, you, you have really good awareness, right? People, some people see it like this, but you're more like 360 view. You seem to be aware of what happens behind you, so on. Right? So, uh, and I think the anime has presented that very well, honestly. Yeah. The main character has clearly been presented as the middle, as the guy in the middle from the beginning. So, uh, but it goes back to where the episode is kind of weird, right? I mean, I, I, yeah, I think it's entertaining, but it's kind of weird. But last episode again, right? Uh, episode 4, he then kind of learned that, okay, I need to be a team player, right? And as I keep saying, he has a supportive team. His weapon is 
team player, <laughs> right? You know what I mean? His weapon is, you know, passing, basically, right? Passing and, and, and intercepting, like that. So his, his, his weapon is not to shoot the ball, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> and, then, and then immediately it's like, screw it, I will do the goal myself, right? So it's just a little bit like, I don't know what the anime is going with, right? You know what I mean? I don't know what the anime is going with. That is very strange, this anime, in the sense that his behavior and his uh, you know, resolve of I am reborn is completely opposite, right? Of what actually his, uh, his weapon is, his power, basically, right? So it, it's very, very strange in that sense. Uh, but otherwise, as I keep saying, right, I, I personally, this is cool, cool, the best decision to have, right? I also have, I also have the high IQ where the pre, you know, prince is like, well, I'm the scepter because I touch the ball the most. <laughs> but honestly, yeah, I always felt that it's kind of true that this position, especially in volleyball, then, but also in you know football and similar sports, typical, mostly team games, of course, you have the positioning where you're like, sport team ball game most of it balls yeah you're kind of like well uh, you gotta pass me more right yeah I mean, I mean, if you're in middle you're gonna touch the ball more you're gonna have to you know move around with the ball more and so on so yeah it is kind of the system you mostly move around and and probably why this position in football uh ten i would say always but i would say it's somewhat frequent is the team captain right so yeah i mean from a football standpoint that sort of makes a lot of sense right he basically becomes the team captain. He's kind of the Beckham, right? Yeah, he's like, oh, this guy's good at passing and striking, and yada yada. People look after him and so on. He kind of becomes that. Yeah, he's the middle guy. Yeah, so you know, and uh, so it makes a lot of sense. That's that's making a lot of sense, right? Everything except that he's also like, I hate my team. <laughs> he's like, screw my team, though. No. Uh, but at the same time, and this is why I don't really what I missed in the episode, honestly, is that he has a flashback, right, where he hates on his previous team. But these, these are all, in Blue Dog, everyone is very, very competent. They're all like elite players, right? And he has like a realization that, well, these guys are actually really competent. So I can pass them and it's fine, right? But, but, but I mean, I, I kind of feel that I missed that, you know? He had like half that realization that, well, actually, this team is actually pretty good, right? But he didn't like have a true, meaningful like, kind of resolve where he was like, maybe I can actually use the weapon, being a team player, fully, because everyone else in my team is very, very good. He didn't actually come, come up to that situation. But I feel that would be kind of that that I would say is a natural conclusion, right? That he actually did the right thing in, in episode one, right, with his other team. But those guys just sucked ass, right? So they, so they failed, right? Yeah, and it really was their fault, not his fault, right? Because he did the right, correct play as you know the ultimate team player, right? So so it's, it's weird to me again that he hasn't come up with you know the understanding that oh I should be a team player and it works with this team or it works with the competent players, the thing, right? Uh, very strange. Less than, yeah, Red Top Shigiri. I don't know, man. Like, he's he got kicked out of the team. Uh, I like how he was playing. Right? I kept saying it. He seems to be a joke, right? He's like, he's a defensive guy. and doesn't do any defending. Like, what is he doing, right? And then it turned out he just can't run over there. He's just in New York. So he's just standing in the background. Uh, but I guess he's going to heal. Yeah. My guess would be he's going to be in New York and he somehow will survive because he will win, right? And then eventually he's going to be healed and actually be really good. And then Mavic is out. But I think he should have a chance to actually play the game, right? So they probably won't lose even if he's there being useless. But seriously, I don't, I don't understand why the team would kick him out, though. Now when he learns he's injured, they can't play the game. This is a liability for them. It's kind of weird. Uh, but anyway, please subscribe to all the course. Yamato coming up again. Next week is going to be because One Piece is hopefully going to be the Yamato fight, right? We saw something last week. I was also impressed last week because they actually made the Yamato fight look good, yeah. Not saying, I, mean, I expected it to be good, it's a, it's a really cool fight, but I mean, like, they actually had high bud. I was like, whoa, it actually was, like, straight up, very, very high bud get for Yamato, which I didn't think thing was going to be, right? So I was very pleased, pleasant, despite that, see you guys soon, coming up to Yamato now, and have a great day.